Hey guys, hey everybody at Complete Nutrition. I'm Lauren Way, Lauren Ray, I don't even know my own name. Welcome to our Facebook Live. Uh, today we're doing a booty and leg workout that you can do anywhere. I'm calling it my fit in six butt and legs workout. So I'll give you guys a few seconds to pop on. Welcome, I've got my Instagram family here with me today. Um, I'm outside in Dallas, it's a beautiful day. It's actually, uh, warm 80s which is a nice change from the uh, bump in hundreds that we've had but it's not as humid today I thought it'd be fun to take our workout outside today um, I see you guys are popping on so let's get right into it I have warmed up if you guys haven't warmed up you need to so we're gonna do a quick dynamic warm-up and what that's gonna do is just get the muscles moving get the blood flowing and get you ready for our fit in six legs and booty workout. You gotta channel your inner Jane Fonda today, okay? So to start with um, your dynamic warm up, we're gonna do some hip swings. So you're gonna take your leg up and open, set it down and take a squat, okay? Then the other side, open and squat. We're gonna do about eight to 10 on each side. And like I said, it's gonna get your heart rate up, get the oxygen flow and get the blood moving, get your booty and your legs ready for some work. So if you guys can't hear me, let me know, hopefully. You guys are uh, doing this with me. And hopefully I can get some comments going today. I know last week we didn't get many in. Uh, second exercise for dynamic warm-up, leg swings. So you're gonna take your leg side to side, forward and back, 10 times, super easy. If you're at your desk, which you can be doing this with me at your desk, hold on to something if you need it so you don't topple over because we're practicing balance as well. So, leg swings, forward and back. You guys over on Instagram should be doing it too. Okay, so we're stretching the muscle. Flex your toes up. You're gonna get hamstring stretch and calf stretch, okay? Side to side, inner and outer thigh. Let's see how my balance is today. That's my inner cheerleader, woo! Okay, other side, forward and back on both sides. Hamstrings, calves, ah, oh, feels good. It's a nice stretch, challenges your core strength. All right, and then side to side on the other side. What are you guys up to? Is it almost time for the kids to be back in school? I know the majority of my clients' kids are heading back to school this week. Maybe you guys have a little bit more free time to uh, get in the gym or get outside and do this workout. So legs are getting a little bit warmer. Um, do a few pop squats. So we're working inner and outer thigh and glutes today. So a few pop squats are gonna get the heart rate up, get the blood pump, and let's do 20 of them, okay? All right, wide stance. Can you see toes turn out? And you're gonna squat and hop together, okay? Who's counting for me, anybody? That's 10, let's do 10 more. Now it's starting to feel a little bit warmer out here. And I think that's around 20. All right, so I'm calling this my fit in six legs and butt workout that you can do anywhere, okay? You really don't need any equipment, that's why it's fun to do um, outside, inside, by your desk, uh, wherever is convenient for you. All you really need is yourself, some uh, water to stay hydrated, and then I have a little stair here, if you guys can see it, that I've full side. It's actually, I think, what people set their margaritas on when they're out at the pool, but today we're gonna put our on it and work it out. I think our connection's pretty good here. Okay, so first exercise, wide stance squats. Wide stance squats are gonna work your core, your glutes, and your inner thigh, okay? All of our problem areas that we're always trying to work. So, turn your toes out, okay? Keep your chest up, lower down as low as you can, stand up, squeeze all the way up. All right, so because we're doing um, body weight exercises, you definitely want to keep your reps up. All right, we're back on. You guys, the wireless up here is sketchy. If worse comes to worse, I'm going to take it downstairs and we'll do it there, but let's keep moving, okay? Wide stand squats, we'll kind of push through this workout so we sure we get it in. All right. First exercise of your fit in six, wide stance squats, keep those toes out, keep your core engaged, 
do four sets of 25. So you're getting 100 of each um, exercise in today, okay? So remember that, four total sets, 25 reps for each exercise. Second exercise, reverse lunges. You're gonna work your booty, work your thighs. Again, challenge your balance and your core. So, step back, step up. Balance at the top. Here, we'll move back a little bit. Back and up, okay? You got it, you can feel the booty working and we're doing 25 on each leg. So that's 50 lunges. You're gonna be burning a couple hundred calories, getting the heart rate up without any equipment at all. Woo! All right, let's switch sides. I know that wasn't 25. I'm worried about this connection going out. Okay, working that booty. Like I said, you gotta find your inner Jane Fonda. Maybe you have some nice 80s music on. If you have a favorite 80s band, throw it on there. I wanna know about it. Jesse's Girl is probably my favorite jam. Is that from the 80s? Did I just date myself? Um, okay, so we did second exercise, reverse lunges, 25 reps on each leg. Third exercise of your fit and six leg and booty workout, step ups. That's where your little box comes into play. That's where your um, stair comes into play. You could have a bench, maybe a half wall, a coffee table, as long as it's not glass and it's stable, anything to elevate you up above the earth. And we're gonna do a slow eccentric descend to target your glutes, okay? So, hopefully you guys can see that. When you step up, yes, you're using your whole leg, you're using your quad. On the way down, the muscles that are slowing you down to the ground are your glutes, or your backside. So the idea is to step up and then slowly release it down. A lot of the times people will step up and step down, okay? So you're getting a lot of quad, but we're targeting the back of the leg. So you wanna step up, hold it, slowly release it back down, okay? Up and slow. Here, let's move this up a little bit for you guys. Up, slow. Okay, I can really feel that in my hamstring and my glutes, okay? Up and slow. Okay, 25 on one leg, then you switch. I love leg days because you burn so many calories. I mean, I've done, what, six reps and my heart rate is definitely up. And the chemicals that your body releases when you're working out your legs, are gonna be there to build muscle and burn fat, okay? So we're gonna do uh, 25 more on the other side for a total of 100 after four sets. Step up and slowly release it down. Now, if you wanted to do this workout in a gym, you could do it with weights, but I'm trying to show you guys exercises you can do anywhere. You know, if you have, um, a bench at your kitchen table or a low chair, you can be doing these, you know, in 20 minutes on a break or when your kids are taking a nap so that you're not missing out on a workout just because you can't make it to the gym, okay? So let's keep it even. We're gonna do, you know, our imaginary 25. All right. Fourth exercise, we're doing kick ups. So this one's on the ground. It's like your Jane Fonda booty workout, okay? I'm gonna aim the camera down, pretend you can see. Okay, so what you're gonna do is find a box position, kick your leg up and down. Keep that leg at 90 degrees, okay? Keep your foot flexed. Um, what you're gonna feel is the center of your glute working, which you can really target when you're in that box position. So flexing your foot, leading with your heel, and kicking the foot. You guys, I feel like I lost you. I did lose you. So what we're gonna do is take it inside. We'll keep it simple. It is really nice and warm out here anyway, so the air conditioning will feel nice. So we're working through uh, fit in six leg and booty exercises you can do anywhere, okay? 
We're moving it back into the gym. Stay with me, you guys. Don't forget to, uh, hey, Mitch Milton. How's it going? All right. Hopefully the Wi-Fi works in here. Robin, you gonna do some legs with us? So. Say hi. Okay, you guys, so we got cut off outside, but we're finishing up our fit and six leg and butt workout. I'm gonna set you down. Yeah. Okay, so we're finishing up that leg workout. We're gonna do those uh, kick-ups. Okay, you've got 25 on each side. And then we're gonna do a Pilates exercise. It's called, say hi. Robin's my neighbor. Um, we're gonna do clam. It's a Pilates exercise. You have to lie down on your side, prop yourself up with your core, knees are in by your belly button, okay? And then feet lift up. You're just gonna lift that knee up. It's silly. I feel like I should wear leg warmers. This is where the Jane Fonda comes in. But I'm telling you, it's really targeting the outer thigh and the glutes. And you get through 10 or 15 of these and your booty is on fire. But remember, we're doing 25 of each. So 25 on each leg. Turn it around, okay, legs up, and up for 25. Okay, feel your outer thigh working, your inner thigh resisting in. We're working legs and buns with six easy exercises you can do anywhere. Okay, last exercise. So we did wide stance squats, reverse lunges, uh, step ups with that slow eccentric movement, kick ups, Pilates clam exercise for the outer thigh and glutes. And then last one is scissor squat jumps. So it's a plyometric exercise. It's gonna get your heart rate up. It's definitely gonna give you a burn in the legs. You're gonna burn a ton of calories without any equipment. So let's do it. Scissor squat jumps are basically like um, a reverse lunge with a hop in between, okay? And the lower you can get and the faster you can go, the more you're gonna get out of the exercise. All right, so let's try it. Find that split squat stance. Down, up switch. My shoes are squeaky. So 25 of those on each leg, that's a lot. I get it, equals 50. But remember, we're keeping our reps up because we're not using any weight and we're using body weight. So lift, tone, burn the legs, burn. Get that booty up off the back of your thighs with these six simple exercises. So. To recap, my heart is pumping, and I didn't even finish number one. I didn't finish but one set, and I only did like half the reps for each exercise. So I guarantee if you can get through, you know, obviously do what you can, be, always be safe, do no harm, but if you can get through four sets of 25 of each of these exercises, without any equipment, you're still getting a really, really good workout. So, fit in six, leg and booty workout, wide stance squats, reverse lunges, step ups with a slow eccentric movement, kick ups um, from that box position when you're on your hands and knees, clam, and then scissor squat jumps. So let's see, I'm gonna pull up and see if you guys have any comments or questions. So I'm gonna stand for a few more minutes. Um, don't forget to drop in the comments section what you guys wanna talk about in two weeks. Sometimes we do nutritional coaching, sometimes we do a recipe. Today, we thought it'd be fun to do a workout. Um, I know school's getting back in session for a lot of you guys, so if you have questions about, um, you know, snacks, oh, there we go. If you have questions about snacks, healthy snacks for your kids, you know, after school snacks, um, things that you can pack for yourself, pop it into the comment section and I will answer them uh, next week. Okay, Megan says, how often do you do weight? Like not just body weight. So I generally use weight. The only time that I don't, and I'll tell you why. I, I use weight because the resistance training is what's going to um, make my muscles work in a way that will help me build the most lean muscle mass and burn fat 24-7. Um, the only time that I don't use weight is if I'm working out outside, which I do generally in the fall and the spring when it's nicer out, because I'm a weenie when it's cold or hot. But um, when I'm outside, I'll run intervals, 
and then do exercises like this in between. So step ups on a bench, um, jump ups, you know, lunges where it's all body weight. And then I do weight, you know, 90% of the time in the gym or when I'm doing uh, classic Pilates. So I work under resistance, I'd say 90% of the time for my workouts. Because honestly, I wanna work the smartest and, and not the hardest necessarily. I wanna work as much as I can in a short period of time so I can get back to my life and get back to what we're doing because, you know, workouts aren't the funnest thing to do, but we do them so that we look and feel our best. So Megan, I hope that answered your question. Alyssa, how long would you say this workout routine would take? If you're doing 100 reps of each exercise and you're pushing it and you're not taking long rest in between, you could do this in um, 20 minutes. Easy, easy 20 minutes. So um, yeah, the idea is to move through the exercises safely and effectively, but to take shorter rest periods in between. Um, I don't know if you, and it's probably just habit, I don't know if you noticed when I was outside, I wasn't stopping for a long time in between each exercise, and it's probably because I'm used to kind of hustling between each exercise, again, because I want to get the most quality work in in the shortest period of time. So yes, you're taking rest, but they're short little breaks. So I mean under 30 seconds between each exercise. So if you're doing that, I'd say you could finish this definitely in uh, 20 minutes. And then afterwards, like I'm going to do now, you could um, run some intervals, you could get on the stair mill. Well, obviously we're not doing any gym equipment, so you could go for a walk, um, do some yoga or stretching, add in an extra 10 or 15 minutes, and then you're getting a really quality workout in uh, without any gym equipment. So, let's see here. We're about 20 minutes into this Facebook Live here on Complete Nutrition. Um, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to drop them into the comment section. Remember to let us know what it is that you want to learn here in two weeks at 4 p.m. on Thursday. And I would love to pick one of your ideas because I want to know what you guys want to talk about. I could talk about food all day, but if you guys want to hear, you know, sports supplements or, or workouts, let me know and we will get into it. Um, on the other hand, make sure that you stop by at Lauren Ray Life on Instagram. Uh, the Complete Nutrition Instagram is full of awesome content. Some of my recipes and articles make it over there as well. So, um, yeah, hop over to Instagram as well. Make sure that you're following us across both platforms because sometimes different uh, content gets on each one. Megan, you'd love more recipes. Awesome. Do you have any specific recipes that you want to learn? So maybe um, dinner or snacks or family-friendly meals. Uh, keep, keep letting us know what you're into. How often do you do cardio and what type of cardio is your favorite? No cardio is my favorite. I don't think cardio is anybody's favorite, but it's necessary to keep your heart healthy um, and keep your lungs working, keep your endurance up. So I prefer plyometric cardio or HIT cardio, so high intensity intervals. So I'm getting my heart rate up really high and then bringing it back down um, because I honestly just want to get it over with. I'll generally work really, really hard. So I do sprint intervals. That's my favorite. I'll run um, at max capacity for 15 seconds and then rest for 15 seconds. And then I'll run for 30, rest for 30, run for 45 seconds, rest for 45 seconds, and then run for a minute straight and rest for a minute. So I'm doing equal work with equal rest at the highest capacity of my ability and then completely resting. So I hop off the treadmill on either side and rest for the equal amount of time. Um, so I prefer cardio where I'm working hard for about 15 minutes and then I'm done. Um, if you prefer slower or more steady heart rate cardio, you know, I don't think it's as effective. It can release some stress hormones, but if, um, if that's what you enjoy doing, I say go for a walk, spend time outside. Um, I also love the stationary rower or the stair mill um, in small doses. But uh, the whole key is, again, to figure out what it is that you like and what works for you. So maybe my sprint interval exercise works for you and you love it, um, but how would you know if you don't try it? So get in 
to this fit in six workout that we did today with six lower body exercises you can do anywhere. Um, follow it up with some stretching and or some uh, hit cardio, similar to those scissor squat jumps. Um, catch up with us on Facebook and Instagram, and then make sure you let us know what else you want to learn next week. And Megan, I would be super happy, ooh, to fill you in on some paleo-friendly recipes. Um, and I'm glad that you like those no products. They are one of my new favorite additions, especially the muffins in the morning, because I can just grab a couple of them and run out the door with my coffee. Um, Mitch, glad to see you. Welcome. All right. I like HIIT, but I don't know if running was better for burning fat, even though I hate it. You know, honestly, it's just about changing the amount of work that you're doing. So you can get HIIT cardio on um, the stationary rower, you can get it with body weight by doing um, plyometric exercises. HIIT cardio is the most effective um, amount of work in a short period of time, uh, but you don't, have to, you don't have to run. You could be doing uh, scissor squat jumps for 20 minutes if that's really what you wanted to. So I actually think I have a HIIT workout heading over to the Complete Nutrition blog here in the next couple weeks, so I'll let you guys know about that in two weeks. Until then, be fit, be healthy, um, send us a message if you have questions or there's something you want to learn about, and I'll see you guys in two weeks. Bye!